Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be a continuation of a series we're doing on learning to create an avatar image. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, you need to uh, back up and go view those first. Uh, you can find them on our website at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. And basically uh, all that this is is we're basically doing the same thing over and over again. I'm grabbing an object, I'm sampling a color from the model, and applying appropriate gradients and appropriate blurs. Now we're just going to clean up over here on our model, get all that cleaned up and clear. Once again, you just don't want that to get very cluttered over there. If it gets to be cluttered, it's going to become a mess. Um, won't necessarily be a mess that you can't fix, but you know you don't want to be wasting your time with that. Now on these eye socket uh, holes here, the areas that are darker, we're going to go ahead and apply radial gradients to that. And just like anything else, it's just going to add a dynamic level to uh, those those objects. You know, parts of your drawing or parts of your image here that are just solid objects with no gradient and no blur are going to stand out and they're going to be noticed because, you know, wherever you are right now, look around you. It would be quite a challenge to find anything that is just one solid color and doesn't have some sort of gradient um, or blur or color variation within it and that's part of what's going to separate your drawing from being realistic or being cartoony and here on the eyes their solid color on the white part of the eyes and you can see that as we get closer up towards the outside of the cornea the eye gets lighter so we're gonna duplicate that uh, we duplicated the eye hole and I made a made it lighter obviously now I'm taking it down a few levels below the cornea the pupil and the shine and if we apply a radial gradient to it as well, it's going to appear to get darker and have a shadow around the outside of the eye. These fine details will be noticed. And uh, as far as really detailed things go, as an artist or a designer, and you can be both regardless of your natural talent, you're going to find as you increase in your skill that people will notice well let me backtrack they will not actually notice a lot of these little details because they're not artists and they're not designers however comma pause for effect if you forget to add these details or you just do not add them at all you're going to find that the same people who never would have noticed these details will exclaim that something just isn't right. They don't know what it is, but something's not right with the image. And they will be able to tell that something looks wrong, but they're not going to be able to help you and tell you what it is that's wrong. So as the designer, you need to be able to understand how to apply these fine details and especially which details are going to be noticed and which ones aren't. Um, I keep saying artist or designer but obviously the way we're doing this here we're pretty much tracing this um, and I I don't have any shame about that as far as uh, getting the effect that I want. If I need to trace something to make it look how I want it to look 
and it's going to look better because I traced it, then I'm going to trace it. Um, yeah, I mean, I can try to get into some fine art and, you know, go ahead and try to do everything by my by memory or, or try to do it by looking at it without tracing it. But as somebody who has a very busy schedule, um, and I'm sure you do too, I don't really have time for that right now. And uh, a lot of times, you know, yeah, I will do just art. You know, I'll get out there and uh, do something from memory or just, you know, try to do something without tracing it. But when I'm doing something for the website or, or trying to do something that I want to look right the first time, I'll go ahead and apply these techniques that I'm teaching you today. Right now what I'm doing is, you see we've got this shadow underneath the bottom lip. I'm taking that shadow and I'm you know just creating an object to represent that shadow and now there's another object that we're going to need to represent the uh, the lighter area on the chin and all of these little shadows around the mouth are very very important because these shadows are and and light spots are kind of like a unspoken language to your brain then they transmit directly to your brain from the person who you're looking at uh, it doesn't take much of a difference to go from a grin to a sarcastic smirk and these lines on the face here and these they're not actually lines at all as we discussed before they're uh, areas of different shading and color and these areas are going to be what your brain is subconsciously receiving and translating into what emotion that person is showing on their face. If you get them wrong, you know, someone who might have been smiling in the original picture is going to look like they're angry in the, uh, in the final product of what you're trying to create. So just trust yourself. And when you're tracing out these objects here, trace them out exactly as they are. Don't try to guess that they might. That you need to trace it some other different way. Just trust that it's going to turn out good. Because look how terrible this looks right now. We've got these blue lines on her face. Um, that just looks horrible. And if you didn't know that this was going to turn out really well, you might be afraid right now that this is this is going to ruin your picture here. Don't ever worry about that when you're working with SVGs because you can always go back and take that object and delete it. T take it away. The, the worst possible thing that can happen to you with an SVG is that you have gotten so involved in your work that you forgot to save and Inkscape crashes. So be sure that you are saving as we go along. Right now I'm just taking this shine that's above her lip here and I'm putting it down below the nose and you're probably thinking that oh he is ruining this image but uh, in fact I, of course I would not have this on the site if I didn't know it was going to turn out good in advance and I'm recording the audio after I have already created the image so I'll give you a hint and I'll give you a secret and tell you that this does turn out well <laughs> 